Hello everybody, this is Sarah Perry and this is my YouTube channel and Daily Psychic Insights and Guidance. Hope you're all doing well today and most of you keeping warm. Even these warmer climbs it feels a little bit chilly at the moment, especially in the evening, unless you're in Australia of course, I'm sure it's warmer there. Um, thank you for all of you listening in. Hello to any new people out there and if you do enjoy this vlog, please do like, share and subscribe and do check out my books are on offer for 2023 and maybe might make a nice gift. Also some offers for a Christmas reading for 2023 as well. $30 for a reading audio or written. Just go to the website www.saraperry.me. So today I'm seeing a lot of transformations, especially around work. Now we've just had a full moon. We are still really in that full moon energy. So things could crop up unexpectedly. Um, the light will be shining on certain areas of your life, especially communication as the full moon is in Gemini. Uh, keep things clear, simple and concise. That will ease the way. Um, and be aware of what you're signing. That's what I feel is a message for somebody out there that something could be put in front of you quite quickly. You might be saying yes, 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 because you want the energy to move quicker. Remember, we're still in Mars retrograde and this is a time to assess things and uh, take things at a slower pace. Um, so somebody out there may be wanting to rush forwards, sign something off just so you can get completion and move on for Christmas. Um, but actually, you may be better to wait. And I'm getting the 27th of January. So if there's anybody listening who is wanting um, to sign for a house um, or is feeling that need, oh, I want it done, I want it done quick, you know, that kind of thing. Um, this isn't for everybody. If you are listening and you want some more, um, you, you're picking up on this and you'd like... Um, a more um, in-depth reading about that or want me to take a look at that, then do get in touch. Now, for some of you, may may be a sense of tug of war, you know, where your energies are being stretched in different, one more than one direction. Um, take the positive approach and if necessary, clear everything first before you make a decision. Um, do something with a full heart rather than with doubt. There's going to be better structure to be had or and from some of you, you can make um, good repairs, good structures, um, start building on some foundations today. You are getting the answers. They are coming in and things are coming together. OK, that's another message for somebody out there who's feeling very dizzy and is questioning their own intuition. Um, just know that, you know, through all this strange vibrational energy right now, especially around a full moon, when it does get quite cause it a few, you know, disillusions, um, creates fogs uh, that things do go on in the background okay remember when there's a show on or if you're watching tv there's always background cast and there's always background people who change the scenes who um sort out the exits and entrances and props and things like that you know there's always a support team somewhere um and if it's not in your environment or something going on that is being dealt with that the universe will be dealing with it and your guides If you are preparing for Christmas again, I'm just going to kind of focus on that word simplicity. You know, keep things to a minimum if you can, because there could be bigger expenses coming in January. I'm seeing some kind of taxes or costs being raised um, and some unexpected uh, bills coming in to clear arrears. And I'm getting like the ninth or tenth that something could have to be dealt with. Um <sighs> I don't want to put the <laughs> worry or fear into people or say to them, you know, you can't do what you want to do. If something is in your gut and it's a really strong instinct and your soul is telling you to do something and you must make your own decisions and not kind of rely on these readings for everything in your life. You know, it's really important to, to know yourself what is right for you. Um, it's just just being aware that you're not you don't feel you've got to keep up with other people or you're being pushed into something you don't really want to do you know or you're you're feeling you're not enough this is a time to really be looking at your own value and trusting that you are enough for you you know and if you're not enough for you then you know you need to be looking at that it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks or 
how they're judging you. That's coming from them. That's coming from inside. This is about how you see yourself. And if in doubt, go and stand and look in the mirror. Look at yourself and really, really look. Look at every flaw, every detail, every correction you'd like to make, you know, but start seeing it as something really unique and an identification of you. That's why we have passports and ID cards, um, you know, and we're all different. Even identical twins will have something somewhere, I'm pretty certain. I mean, even if the hairstyles are the same, there will be one hair that's slightly in a different direction somewhere. Not everything is going to grow at the same soul level. So, you know, you are still your own person. You still have your own mind. Just because you're linked to someone, you're married or, you know, you're part of a very close-knit family, it doesn't mean you have to go along with the majority, okay? Um, if something is crying out inside and it feels uncomfortable in your belly area, you know, in your soul, your gut, you know, really start listening to that. You may not have all... The details you may not be given confirmation yet but you will be given it and what i'm being told within three weeks okay of something happening now there's phone calls coming for some of you out there that could see you rising from the ashes and bringing back some confidence that has been missing um and just trust that something is in order again i'm looking at house contracts that kind of thing that it's important that it is balanced and you are doing you know, it's not just that um, everything is placed financially. It's also that it's the right thing for you. Again, if somebody is pushing you to sign for something you don't want to, you know, wait until you feel clearer about things. Because this energy does, you know, like I say, make some mockery of ourselves sometimes. And it does cause us to feel a bit upside down. Um, just know that, you know, you, we're heading to better times. Next year is going to be so much better and it's really important to keep your hope and faith alive and really look at the little things right now, the simplicity of your life, the fact that you have got a roof over your head, some of you may not, okay, but for the ones that have who are still wanting more and saying, I've been trying so hard, so hard, long, pushing so hard, stop pushing for a start and just be and just look around at what is important because we often miss the important things when we're striving for something that may seem unattainable or you know we're getting ourselves frustrated because it's not happening quick enough so slow down and enjoy the stillness and the slow energy that you know is around us and see the scenery really take a look at what's around you so i hope you have a great day everybody um and i will speak to you tomorrow and if you'd like a private reading go on to the website www.saraperry.me bye for now